we're talking about um, this concept of growth yeah. and expansion, trying to get a sense of does this does the leader come as the CRO and we look at that person being more empathetic, consultative, and take a longer view? Does it come from customer success that has that yeah. biased but now may need to have a little bit of a sales orientation? Where does that come from, that it, convergence? It's such a great question, and I wish I could tell you the answer. To me, that's like the uh, that is the question of the day for the future of uh, this combined industry of sales and CS together. Yeah. I, I think what's going to happen is it's going to be we almost need a, there's a new title above both of those, right, eventually. Um, some people might just call it a COO or a president or whatever. But there's somebody that's able to think both short term and long term. Because one way to think about customer success is it's kind of, it's long term sales, right? It's, it's saying, look, I'm going to do things now that are going to drive value for our business in the future by getting creating value for our customers, right? right? And so I'm going to actually do things now that drive retention in the future or upsell or whatnot, right? And sales is a really tough job because you're measured on what you're doing today. Yes. Right, you're doing like I mean, sales leaders. It's like every quarter is the most important quarter ever. They got to make. They got to get up in front of the team, give the speech, do yeah. the forecast reviews. I have so much respect for sales leaders, and so the thing that is, I think that the, the mental requirement is the person that will rise up is the one that can think in both time frames, mm -hmm. can think long term and can think short term. There's a lot of CS leaders who are amazing at thinking long term, being strategic, but they've never been under the gun of like a huge number in the quarter. A lot of sales leaders who are amazing at thinking short term, but haven't had to think about the kind of four quarter plan with the right, customer, right? right? And I think the person that's gonna rise up, and some have, are gonna be able to do that. I'll give you an example. One, one of our clients, a company you probably know is a PTC sure, software right, sure. in Boston. Yep. And um, their CS leader, is a former CS leader, Matt Cohen, is now the head of all sales and CS, right? And he's, he was obviously very very well respected executive, but kind of is able to look across both lenses, right? In some cases, it's gonna be the sales leader who gets kind of that top role. I think it's gonna be situational okay. based on who that person is and whether they can work in both timeframes or not.